Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a Diamond Glen Rice gameplay. And yes, we are going to be doing it on next gen today because I think that's where this card is really gonna make his impact, make his mark on 2K as a whole. So before we dive any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Shout out to my guy Woozy for letting me hop on his account to make this thing possible. Glenn Rice here, 6'7", 215 pounds, 96 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle. Looking at his defense, and it's not great, but it's pretty mid all the way around. 88 speed, 87 speed ball, 88 acceleration, as well as that 86 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, 90 driving dunk tendency, up and on down to the defensive tendencies, which are very, very solid, at least in the contest shot and block shot uh, categories. Not all of fame badges, catch two corner specialists, blinders. Yes, that does mean that on current gen, he does have Hall of Fame steady shooter. Circus threes, deep threes, sniper, as well as Hall of Fame slippery off ball, Tyler shooter, and volume shooter. 30 gold badges, including difficult shots, heat seeker, pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, off ball pass, rebound chaser, post lockdown, Tyler's defender, trapper, hot shot, slithery, bailout, downhill, quick first step, unpluckable, a very important and good badge. Green machine, hot zone hunter, as well as bullet passer. So, Badge he lacks, he does lack quite a few badges, but I mean, they're not really needs. I guess handles for days is a badge that if you are going to be using him as a ball handler, you're going to want him to have. But other than that, he does come with a lot of great badges. Looking at Glenn, Ry Glenn Rice in freestyle here, the first thing to note is that he has hot spots from everywhere. That's something you definitely like to see. I think that is the JoJo White Pro 3 uh, behind the back which obviously is, isn't is bad. I don't mind that at all. Okay, first moving shot of the day is green. Let's see, okay, I don't mind his release. That's just kind of my first instinct is I don't mind it. We'll see here the more I use the card, how much I do indeed end up liking it. What in the, all right, I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to time releases better on next gen because the way I'm doing it right now is just not working for me personally. I mean, it's just, it's not it for me, but I feel like with Hall of Fame blinders, you can really shoot anything with this card. Like, he doesn't necessarily have to be open for you to just sit there and let it fly with him. Obviously, if you do like this moving jump shot, uh, he does have that. I think it's the same one that Hidu Turklu had. Now, for, personally for me, I've never really loved this moving jump shot. Obviously, late in the shot clock. If you need a bailout, I mean, it might get it might get the job done. Stuff like that, and I've green four in a row. So maybe I do like this moving shot. I don't know. Maybe I do. But I pre usually prefer shooting this kind of, the, the one that is without R2, right? I feel like normally it's easier to green for me. But honestly, the one with R2 with Glenn Rice is has been pretty smooth for me. I don't know the last time I've missed one. Okay, now I'm shooting slightly late. Uh, but no matter either way you shoot the ball moving, it's going to be green, okay? It should be green for you with Glenn Rice. Very high three ball, very good release whether you're moving or not moving. You shouldn't miss very many shots with this Glenn Rice card. Looking at Glenn Rice on current gen here really quickly, right? I just want to give you guys a quick look if you are current gen. Uh, and the thing is, he still is going to be basically the same, has that same type of release, which on current gen, I do like this release. I'll be one of the first people to say I think it's a pretty easy release to time, pretty easy release to green. Obviously, I, you guys know as well as I do, when I'm on the new console, I don't green. Like, I don't green when I'm on the new console playing current gen. That's just part of it. The one thing I will say is his release with with hall of fame steady shooter it's it's gonna be intriguing to see like how that does affect how many greens he shoots and everything like that but i'm telling you like i'm barely i'm barely touching this x button it is slightly late every single time that's why honestly i can i can hardly play uh current gen on this next gen system it's just impossible for me to personally do but you guys know what Glenn Rice is going to be able to do. He's going to be able to burst. I wonder if he does have Showtime Dunks. It looks like he does have Showtime Dunks as well. Don't know how much that's going to matter for this Glenn Rice type of a car. I'm up against a very good team here. I see Anthony Davis, Braun, T-Mac. This guy's got everybody. So it's going to be interesting to see how Glenn Rice fares against this type of an opponent who's got a lot of cards in the game. And it's on next gen where I'm personally, obviously, I struggle sometimes to say the least. Imagine me not getting Glenn Rice involved early and often. Oh, yeah. Come here. Imagine. That's a good look. Oh, yeah. 33% on the first possession of the game. That's something you love to see. That's a great start for Glenn Rice. Come here. To the cup step. Back to Glenn. Come on, man. 
Stop playing with my man's Glenn. Two for two start for Glenn Rice. Leaner. Chill, I didn't even mean to sh Oh my word, look at Glenn. I don't know. I, I don't know how to activate TakeOver. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me how to activate it. I don't... Look, I don't play next gen enough to know. So I just wait till it activates automatically. Hey, look at Glenn over the step. That's a great pass. Oh, my fool me. Yes, sir. Yo, I'm not trying to flop. I'm not. I promise you. I'm just trying to activate TakeOver right now. Because I think he's got it, right? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have enough. Ouch. Hey. Hey, look at... That's not green. Oh my goodness, I'm selling right now. Uh, maybe if I hit another three, it'll just automatically activate. I don't know, man. I just need him to get take. That's not green. Where am I at? Slightly late with that one, too. Yikes, to be honest with you. Come here. Like I said, no handles for days definitely does hurt the card card's value just a little bit. Come on, Glenn. I need one green from you. Like, I just, I can't time that moving release. This guy got Junior Bridgman out here. That's a lightly, that's tough. That's a bait. Come on, you know me. Uh-oh, don't leave him. Bro, can you just like back, uh-oh. I'm missing every shot I'm taking with him. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Come on. There it is, finally. We got Glenn a little bit of a rest there. In the middle of the second quarter, he's got 75 stamina. And a lot of the reason that his stamina is not any higher is because his usage rate is super high when he's in the game. I'm, I'm shot hunting pretty heavy with him when he is in the game, and I'm on the verge of losing right now. This is not looking good. Glenn to the cup. Okay, there you go. Glenn Rice right, showing me something attack in the rim there. Come here, Glenn. It's just too easy. I figured it out. It's all about what works for you, and I figured out what works for me. Thank you. Give me a stop. Thank you, man. Ouch. Like, why are you guarding me from so deep? Thank you. It's wide open. I'm missing. Like, why am I not timing up that release? He made it from range extender. Oh, I guess. I guess, bro. I, you know what? I guess. At the halftime box score, it's not been that of an uh, efficient of a game. 6 of 13 from deep, 7 of 14 from the field. And I've just overall kind of struggled a little bit with Glenn. All right, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. That's wide open. Thank you. That's the blinders for you in action. Hall of Fame blinders. If he doesn't have blinders there, it's probably a decent contest, honestly. Chill, patience, patience. What in the load up? Like, just weird stuff is happening. I wanted just a normal release for Glenn. He gets a weird load up, and it is what it is. Glenn needs some help, though. Like, he's getting so much attention. Steph needs to help him out. Thank you, Glenn Green. Thank you. All he needs is an inch of separation, and it's probably going to be green. Glenn, I need you to find an opening. What in the world? Come here. Hit the screen. Is that what you're gonna do? Uh oh. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Come here. Look at him overplaying the three point line. That's fine. I guess I'll take my easy two. Up to Glenn. Ah. Another one. Another easy slam. Glenn, Ry Glenn Rice is starting to get it going, attacking the rim. You want to overplay me from three. That's fine. I'll show you something else. Look at him just overplaying that three-point line so heavily. I guess I just keep attacking the rim. Until he makes the right adjustments, I'm just going to keep taking what he gives me. That's a great pass. Miss one, Bron. Thank you. Run. Oh, somebody better pick up Glenn. That's all I can say. Somebody better pick up Glenn. It's fine. Chill, Glenn. 
There it is, a green light from Glenn Rice right there. Let me tell you, that was not an easy one. Oh, give me one, 2K. Give me one. It's that run. It's fine. Where's Glenn? Where's Glenn? Find Glenn, find the hot hand, Glenn Rice with another triple. Attack the rim, just really run to the rim constantly. Next gen, you'll never see me run into the rim. I miss with takeover. Look at the attention Glenn gets. It's actually crazy. Come on. Not enough attention for Glenn Rice. If I get to see. Yeah, you got enough left to get another another three up. Ah, back to him. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. I should have just shot it off the catch. That's me. Back to a four-point game just like that. Glenn's got 41 points for me. Like, what more do you want him to personally do? Yeah, good. good, Glenn. Set your feet. Perfect. Maybe that's what I should do more. Try to get those feet set just a little more often. Because right now... I've been taking drifters, but with Glenn's release being as good as it is, I don't think he needs the drifters. Good. That's great defense. That's great defense. This is outstanding, exquisite defense. We're sitting on everything, and he gets a bailout. Thank you. We head into the fourth quarter up seven points. That's great defense. Rotate. Good. Look at the rotations. We're moving. Oh, my. Oh man. I don't know how that's not over and back. Hey, man. That's not mine. It's not my, my question to answer. Glenn Rice from way downtown gets another green to go. Oh, yeah, good, Blake. Grab the ball. Come on, run. Steph time. Steph time. Uh-oh. Don't, don't forget. Don't forget about Glenn. He got it lightly on it. That's tough. He's already halfway to takeover, basically, once again. And one. Dang, ref. I missed? There is no way I missed a long two. I had him crabbed and everything. Thank you, Steph. Grab it. Up to Glenn. Stop. Oh, chill, chill. I didn't even try throwing it to him. We're fine. Good D board. Come on. Glenn, I need you to space the floor a little bit. There it is. Wide open. You, he got a full. But I just need a couple more minutes. That's it. That's all I need. Come on, Steph. Back to Glenn. Get him crabbed. I mean, look at the way you're playing these screens, though. It's tough. I'm just trying to get some sort of separation. Onions, Glenn Rice for three. Let's go. Not to say that seals it, but that was a big time shot from Glenn. Do not foul, Steph. What are we fouling for, man? We got eight seconds. Come here. I got it. Is that a four or did I just miss? I don't know, man. Sometimes with 2K, I don't really know. Blinders, look at Blinders doing its job. Glenn, I'm gonna have no filter at all with you on this possession. I ain't gonna lie with you. No filter, Glenn. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Is that too deep? Is that too deep? You got half range. No threes. Whatever y'all do, do not give up a three. That's all I really care about. It's me. It's good deep. That's good defense. No way, hand. No threes. I don't, I don't care what else happens. You guys are not going to give up a three here, though. It's fine. No threes. No threes. We got eight seconds left. Can I just get Glenn Rice? Everybody else, out my way. Hey, look at Glenn. Kobe. That's an awful possession. Man, heading into overtime, I, I, I really threw the game. It was over with. I, I wanted to hit a game winner with Glenn, but it is very, very tough. That's mine. Come on. All right, Glenn. 
You gotta do your work early in this overtime. Look at that. What are we doing here? Come here. Come, can somebody come here and send me a good screen? Thank you. Glenn, man. Glenn, man. I need you to be better. No way. That's a... We're sitting. We're right here. Come on. Go double. Go double. Thank you. Thank you. No way. That's a bait. Thank you. Great defense. We're playing great defense. Thank you, boy. There's no way. All right. Come on. Enough with this, bro. Enough playing around, Steph. Go get your bucket, bro. Come on, Glenn. I got another. Like, is that a fool? Can you, Glenn, can you start getting it going for me? Because I need you to start greening. Come on. Come on, one. Good, run. Oh, uh, where we at? Somebody better pick up Glenn. That's all I can say. If nobody picks up Glenn, it's going to be a problem. Look at... Oh, my gosh. Look at Steady Shooter blinders on Glenn Rice. Anytime I feel like he's about to sell, he makes a huge play right there is another prime example of it. Come on. I know you probably don't have takeover, but you got to be getting close. Oh, yeah, to the cup. To the cup. To the cup, Glenn. Uh -huh. Knock down some free throws. We'll be, we'll be moving and grooving here. Glenn Rice, another knockdown three. He's got to take over. Let's go, man. Give me a stop. Give me a stop. We're there. Ho me. I'm getting hold. Glenn, I ain't gonna lie. You need to hit a shot here. Look at Glenn knock down limitless range triple. Let's see, can we get a stop? Charlotte fans are on their feet. We need one stop to clinch a win. Uh oh, it's Glenn versus T Mac. Uh oh, I like this matchup a lot better. I ain't gonna sit here and lie with you. That's great D. That's great defense. No way. <laughs> Have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Glenn! Oh my goodness! Glenn for the win! Oh my word! All we gotta do here is protect the rim. That's it. Go protect the rim. Please. Nothing crazy. He doesn't got time for anything. Nothing crazy. It's over with. He threw it out of bounds. It is over with. Looking at the final box score, yes, I took 44 shots with him. Yes, I took 37 threes with him. And yes, I dropped 73 points with him. My final takeaway is Glenn Rice is another one of those fun cards to use on Next Gen. There's a lot of them, and Glenn's another one. Now, I do think he is a very elite level on Next Gen in particular. Like, when you compare him to J.R. Smith, I think Glenn Rice Next Gen is just that level above guys like Rudy Fernandez, Eddie Jones. Give me Glenn Rice above those guys. On current gen, I don't think he's quite to that level, but next gen with the Hall of Fame blinders, he's just different. Comment your thoughts on Diamond Glenn Rice down below. Let me know if you guys think he is that elite level. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.